Hi, I'm Jeffrey O'Hallam. I'm the writer of Child of Light. Talk a little about the story and what's going on in this world. Uh, Child of Light takes place in 1895. Uh, the main character is named Aurora. She's the daughter of a duke from Austria. And she wakes up one morning to find herself in this mythical lost continent called Lemuria. And she doesn't know how she got there. And she's uh, terrified and trying to get home. And there's an evil queen there who has stolen the sun and the moon and the stars. And she can't get back until she exposes this queen to light or finds a way past her. And so she ends up uh, fighting against, and, but then ultimately accepting this quest and, 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 and uh, struggling to succeed at defeating this queen. And along the way, she meets a bunch of creatures and encounters uh, new truths about this place that ultimately leads her to change her destiny. Can you talk a little about the gameplay experience and how you're utilizing the PS4? Well, uh, Child of Light uh, really is a game that tries to transfer as much of the artistic hand onto the screen as possible. And so the drawings are done using the UV art framework where we translate concept art one-to-one -one into the game. And uh, the writing I've done is uh, a poem and it's written like an epic ballad. And so all of this is uh, to kind of give it an artistic, uh, a strong artistic flavor. And the PlayStation 4 allows us to have more memory and, and more power to operate uh, to allow artists to um, express themselves without it, the hardware getting in the way. And so it allows us uh, freedom to make more beautiful artistic renderings of Aurora and uh, more beautiful uh, effects and uh, the, the memory is just great. And then also we have features like the touchpad with um, Igniculus the Firefly, Aurora's companion in this world um, that can be played by a second player or in single player. So you can play the game in co-op or in single player. But uh, Igniculus can draw messages made out of light in the world using the touchpad. And so the player can create kind of their own art uh, throughout the world and then your friends can see it uh, through the share feature. Um, so you can basically uh, paint over the world and um, I've used it uh, repeatedly uh, both uh, at the studio and today and it's, it's just uh, the touch pad is wonderful for that kind of functionality and responds so well. Where did the idea come from for this game? Uh, Patrick Plourd, uh, the creative director of Far Cry 3 and I got together once we had finished writing. I wrote Far Cry 3, so we finished Far Cry 3 and we got together in a room and uh, we wanted to make uh, something different and Pat wanted to make a game set in a fairy tale world using JRPG mechanics and I have been very interested for ages in doing a western epic uh, story so it fit beautifully with J with JRPG mechanics because there's, you know, in JRPGs you level so it becomes about growing and evolving and there are parties, you know, tons of people that join you on your quest and they span many different locations and so we took that kind of rule set and uh, it allowed us to create this world over the course of a month. We really thought through the whole thing where we wanted the world to go, what characters we wanted in the world, who Aurora was going to be the main character. And um, we made a pitch and the studio uh, trusted us because we've done um, the last six years, every year we shipped a AAA game that's been a huge success. So uh, they allowed us to make our dream game.